Hey guys, what is good? Uh, it's Plotless. You may or may not know me. doesn't matter. I'm here to help you set up for tomorrow. Um, for these foam runners and the cool grays. Uh, we're mainly going to be covering Shopify, this module, as well as the Q-Tool. Q-Tool is pretty simple. I'll go over that at the end. I'll start off with Shopify as it's what most of you have been asking for and what I've been answering. So you'll see I have some tasks here. Don't mind that. We'll go to the plus button, create a task, and scroll down, find Kith, because that's what most of us are running for. Uh, I operate in the Eastern time zone, EST, so Kith drops at 10 EST for me in the morning. Going on to links slash keywords right here, you'll see this. Uh, this is what you're going to be running for, what you want to pick up. This is basically what you, you want to get, basically. So we'll set up the keywords. Um, I don't need the guide because I know this by, <laughs> by heart and by experience. But for those of you who are new, we'll go over here. Ash over here, shout out to this guy. Huge, huge shout out to him. Always helping me in my DMs with anything I need and is great at his release guides. So we'll scroll, we'll find the Kith release. Okay, here. You'll see these early links. EL means early link. Uh, you can use keywords or early link. It won't matter. Uh, sometimes one picks up faster over the other, but we're going to be doing both keyword and early link just so you guys are kind of well-versed in both. So obviously, I've these have dropped before on Kith, and I know these because I've ran for them like three times already. But if you haven't, again, look at the guide. You'll see here, we just add a plus for positive keywords. Easy. And we'll just run foam runner. Foam, comma, plus runner, comma, plus orch. These three keywords I know are for a fact in that product link. So once that drops, it'll pick up based off these keywords. Now you'll see here that he mentioned on the very bottom of the guide, some of these will be, oh yeah, these MX gray foams will be dropping in full family sizing, which means if you don't want to pick up kids sizing, infant sizing, or preschool sizing, you'd use those negative keywords. But I'm pretty sure the orchards are restocking in full adult sizing only, so you won't really need to matter. But if, if you'd like, we'll just do this, infant, kids, and what was the other one? Preschool, pre. Oh, forgot that. All right, so now you're finished with keywords, links. Uh, I'll go back to links after I finish setting this whole thing up. Um, foam runners don't run in half sizes. They run in full sizing, I think starting from like a size 4 or 5. I don't know. But let's say I'm running for a size 12. Kith does just numbers in U.S. sizing. So you just type in 12. Pretty basic, pretty self-explanatory. Um, you do the size based off what the site uses and not what, not what, it's really hard to explain, but you use whatever, like the size that the site uses. So again, size 12. Quantity, you'll leave this at one. If you run more than one, you'll get canceled and it's going to be a bummer because if you hit, you get canceled. You're not going to get the pair. Uh, proxy, I don't use proxies on Shopify. I don't know who does or why, but you're going to waste your time solving captures, which you really speed matters on Shopify. So going on to modes. Now, this is also a big one. Fast, uh, this is basically for no bot protection, nothing. Uh, you'll rarely use this, so pretty much just ignore this most of the time or almost all of the time unless it's some special drop. Um, save. This is with the bot protection up or password page. Uh, it could be used for tomorrow's release. Actually, I think, yeah, it could be since there's bot protection. But I would recommend preload, which is what we're, we're going, which is what I recommend and what I believe the guide recommends, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, safe preload. Almost all, all of these will be safe preload. Now you see here, safe preload. Now, when we switch from modes, you'll notice a new box come up. This is the in-stock item link. This is basically just, you know, an in-stock item link, a random in-stock item. 
So you can see here I'm on Kith already. I just wanted to get everything ready. We'll just find something random. We'll go to apparel. We'll look a jacket. Take this jacket link, copy it. And they don't have a paste button, which would normally be right around this uh, down arrow. But we'll just double tap. If it wants to come up or not, we'll just do that. Uh, you just double tap to paste it in, etc. You'll see the link here. Uh, this, by the way, just as a reminder, this whole link doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what you put in. You could put a jacket. You could put in shoes. You could put in a dildo. I don't care. As long as it's from the same site that you're running on, you're set. And you never want to get these two mixed up, the in-stock item link and the link slash keyword, because you're going to be picking up the wrong item. Uh, site password, you don't need that. Account, you don't need on Kith. Some of these sites, you do require an account, like Concepts, I know does. Uh, Undefeated, I think, does too, yeah. Undefeated Exhibition does as well. Those, uh, you'll set up in the Billing tab. You'll just click on the Billing tab and click Accounts. I'll show you guys later. Shipping rate, you leave as default rate. You don't need to touch rates. You never touch rates, and I don't suggest you do because it can affect... Uh, if you check out at all and most bots don't recommend you use rates anyway as preload does that for you so yeah you guys see my keywords here my size and my mode as well as whatever link you'd like to use for the in-stock item going back to links um let me just go back to kith i'm running orches so i'm just going to copy this and instead of my keywords i would just run my link no pluses no spaces nothing just the bare link save task all right now once we start this you guys will see the checkout process now i know that went a little bit too fast for you guys but uh if you saw it would grab the item add to cart check out uh, it's a dummy link or something uh, that's what you put in for the in-stock item. It'll check out, and if it says bad link, you're good. That means you're on the checkout process. It's just waiting for the product to load on that link or that product to be live. Uh, that's pretty much it for Shopify. Uh, this applies to every Shopify site, not just Kith. It just varies a little bit on, you know, of course, the in-stock item and the sizing, depending on your country, and etc. Now going back here, I'll show you guys how to make accounts or add them. This is my, you'll see here, we go to billing, accounts, add account. Um, undefeated, I know, requires an account, so we'll just, or uh, yeah, right here. This, this, and then this, and then you save the account. And then when you want to use it, just go to your Shopify tab. You'd select it, and then you'd... Go to the site that you want to run on, and you'd see your account right here. And you'd save task. When you add custom uh, Shopify sites, uh, since some, especially most European sites aren't supported, just go here. Let me go back. Just go here to the gear icon. Scroll down until you see Shopify. Go scroll down again. Click the green plus next to custom sites and then add your site link thing let's say haven shop i don't know havenshop.com and then you need to add the https forward slash of course and there you have it that's your custom site you need to select that from the shopify drop down we'll go to q2 now this is for easy supply and uh all the other stuff that you guys will be running. You'll see all the site lists here. Uh, we're actually going to be running Easy Supply. So we'll go down the Easy Supply. We'll go here. Where's the link? Exhibition Q2. Okay, here. Uh, we're going for the Orches. Okay, well, let me copy the link. Paste this in. Save the task, and there you go. That's it. Now, you will want to make these once uh, they ping or once sale is live, or you can make them now. It won't really matter. 
Uh, they're just basically more browsers. You want to limit yourself to at least three, I'd say. Three to five is a really good number. Uh, sometimes they do like to ban, like with one tab alone. I've seen it happen, with even with manual users. I don't know why, but just be careful. And uh, yeah, try to cut down on tasks if it's laggy. Uh, that's pretty much it. I hope this helped you guys.